As a creator, creating content is almost second nature. Once the idea hits my mind, I almost go into autopilot, doing scripting, recording, and editing until it's complete. However, getting it seen on the crowded space that is YouTube is a whole other challenge. With TubeBuddy though, you get access to a wide range of tools like tag optimizers and search ranking results to help you optimize your content to succeed on YouTube. Want to give it a shot? Click the link down below to learn more. Hey, what is up guys, Manny from the Toasty Bros, and I am back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new CPUs announced by AMD. No, not the Athlon CPUs, which you all definitely had an opinion about, but actually AMD announced the official launch of the Ryzen 3 2300X and 2500X, the second gen processors of their famous quad core and quad core with SMT processor that has pretty much been the go-to budget sector for most people who are looking to yield a budget PC. Now, these CPUs are on par with what the last gen offering was, with the Ryzen 3 2300X being a 65 watt CPU based on Zen Plus, so it's 12 nanometer, but it's still a pure quad core CPU, but has a frequency of 3.5 GHz with a boost up to 4 GHz. That boost up to 4 GHz is actually really impressive because last gen's Ryzen 3 or the Ryzen 3 1200, which the Ryzen 3 1300X was the other offering that was designed to be the higher clocked version, but ever since the release of the Ryzen 3 2200G, the Ryzen 3 1300X has been kind of phased out of existence. They don't even manufacture it anymore. It's mainly just the Ryzen 3 1200, and that clocks up to like 3.7 gigahertz at most. The boost clock of up to 4 gigahertz out of the box is really impressive, and it could really make this a better budget offering compared to the Ryzen 3 1200. The memory support is also bumped up for this CPU with the ability to support up to 2933 megahertz memory, as opposed to the 2667 support on the last gen Ryzen 3 CPU. Now, the Ryzen 5 2500X is the same story. It's a quad-core CPU, but it does have the SMT, making it, in theory, an 8-threaded processor. Now, this CPU is most definitely targeted as, like, the old-school i7 killer, which really there's not a mainstream offering from Intel anymore that is a 4-core, 8-thread. So this CPU is kind of in a class of its own right now. 4-cores and 8-threads is really the high sweet spot right now for gaming, meaning that some games take advantage of more than 4-cores, and when they do, that extra hyper-threading or SMT really comes in handy. The clock speed are roughly the same as well with a 3.6 gigahertz base clock and a 4.0 gigahertz boost clock and the memory support is up the exact same to 2933 megahertz. Now there's no official pricing yet because these CPUs are actually available only in OEM towers which it's kind of disappointing at first that they're not hitting shelves but these CPUs do fit well in OEM towers and there were a lot of deals on Ryzen 5 1400, 1500X and other Ryzen 3 pre-built towers at the end of the product cycle so it makes sense for why they're really pushing to upgrade upgrade those OEM towers with the release of the new Intel platform and the flood of 9th gen Intel CPUs into pre-built towers, it's a good idea for AMD to get on board and get their Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 CPUs into desktop pre built so they can have a competitive chance against the 9th gen from Intel. So what does this mean for budget PC builders or people who are trying to build PCs right now? Well, this could be a good option in the future whenever they hit the market. Now, depending on pricing, if the Ryzen 3 2300X slots in nicely where the last Ryzen 3 CPU left off and kind of performs slightly above the Ryzen 3 2200G while not offering the onboard graphics, it could be a good entry-level option depending on the price. If it's priced around $120 to $110, it could be a really good value for money. $130 is the estimated price, which might be a little bit steep, but definitely on promos for 110 120 it could be a really good budget option to be able to upgrade to something like a Ryzen 7 2700X in the future in the midst of a CPU upgrade if you get something like a B450 motherboard. The same goes for the Ryzen 5. I'm very interested to see what the value is on this, because the Ryzen 5 1600 and 2600 right now is the sweet spot of CPUs for me, with it being a 6-core CPU, and I always thought the Ryzen 5 1500 and the 1500X and the 1400 were kind of in a weird position because for just a few bucks more, you can get those two extra cores in a Ryzen 5 1600 and now the 2600, and it really made those CPUs very niche, and ones for people who just don't have any more money to squeeze out into a budget, they have to go with that option. But regardless, you're getting a quad-core CPU with SMT, which is in theory good enough for basic streaming tasks and playing most modern titles, and it'll be very interesting to see exactly what kind of performance boost there is on these lower-end chips, as opposed to the numbers that we saw from Ryzen 7. 1700 to Ryzen 7 2700 and the Ryzen 5 1600 to Ryzen 5 2600. Let's see if that clock speed boost actually helps out the lower end chips more and if so you could have a really good option for your next gaming PC build.
And that about wraps this video up here, guys. If you liked this video, leave a like down below and comment Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, or whatever you want to comment in the comment section down below if you made it this far. I would love to know what your thoughts are about these new CPUs. Are you considering waiting for them for your next PC build? Have you looked into other Ryzen-based systems? Or are you an Intel kind of person? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you do like these styles of videos, let me know because I film these videos same day and release them the same day. So if this video is hitting your sub box super late at night, that's most likely why because I filmed it at, well, what time? is it right now 5 30 at night and i probably think this video is going to hit probably about nine o'clock tonight so for you night owls out there thank you for watching and for those who are in a different time zone you might enjoy this kind of upload schedule so again if you like this video leave a like down below and also consider subscribing hit the bell notification if you know when every single video is live from the toasty bros and i hope to see you all in the next video guys peace out